Hey, it's John. I'm really excited to try this out. So here I've got a back band. So I've never had a chance to tell you this before, but I am a huge fan of back bands because they provide comfort for us in the saddle. And, and so I haven't tried this on yet. So let's see how I'm going to do this. So we've got a couple of options for what we're going to use this for. Let's use it as a conventional back bath. Now I could have had this on already. I could step through it. If I'm in, if I've already climbed without it. I'm putting on a comfort device in the tree. Let's decide. I think I'd rather operate the clasp on my left side. So I, I, I step through it that way. And now without disengaging my saddle from the tree, I, I will lengthen it as, as necessary or shorten my bridge. No script here. And let's get that, let's get that in. Let's see how that feels. So if, if you've ever spent, and I have, I've spent 13 and a half hours in a tree, and this is with no platform, I swear I've done that. Having a back band is really huge. It's not a life safety device. This is not gonna have the same kind of strength as this, but it allows us to recline and gives us an opportunity to distribute some of our weight. Now, all the weight I have now on my center of back and my ribs has been taken off of my hips. And I can, I can change the position. I can stand tighter or further, further back. Now, here's a matter in which I've used a back band in the past, and that is to use it as a supplementary part of our saddle. So I'm, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna shorten my bridge a little bit. I'm gonna take my back band, and I'm gonna put it down under my butt. I'm gonna put it down under my butt. Now it's doing nothing now, right? Because it's loose. I'm gonna tighten that up. And if you've ever spent an appreciable amount of time in the saddle, you know that you can eventually feel the web loops that are on the top and the bottom, particularly on the bottom. That's where folks will complain about hip pitch. But if you've got a back band and you can adjust it just right, you can get some weight on the back band. And, and that takes weight off of the primary straps. And so I know this works because I've done it in my, my DIYs. That's pretty comfortable. Something I've never done and I'm dying to try is both at the same time. So here I've got a second one. And again, this is brand new, never been unraveled. Let's, let's try two at the same time. I really feel like I could spend some time in a contraption like this with all of the adjustability. And, and I know from experience, if you need to make room for a shot, obviously the one on the bottom doesn't come into play. But if you, if you come into the time where you need some, some extra movement, you can, in a stealth fashion, you can loosen your back band and now get in position for a shot wherever you need it. 